Welcome back to HomeAdroids.net. I'm going to show you today um, it's a widget creator called Minimalistic Text. And as you can see, I've got a couple of them here on my uh, front screen, which I particularly like. Now, oh I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to delete one, aren't I? Okay, so let's delete the time. As with uh, most widgets, we add them in the normal way. Scroll there, it is minimalistic text. You get quite a selection of uh, of widgets, so we'll, well, I'll go with the horizontal, like a regular minimalistic text, four by one. You can give it a, a name, so I'm just going to call it video, that's why I'm doing it. We'll leave the background in there, you can change the color of the background and search there. Shadow settings. Um, I don't think we need shadow settings. There are a lot of it. it when I first ran this, I was kind of confused to be honest, and um, it did take a little bit of getting used to. So, widget direction, we're going from left to right. It's nice and simple. But when you do the sideways ones, you can do down, top, or top, down, top, or top, down. But yeah, we're just going left to right, that's fine. We then get to sort of center it, left it, right it. So, yeah, we'll stay centered vertically. Yeah, we want it centered still. Um, See, I'm not how how do I to anyway. Anyway, that's it. So everything's centered. So you can just use a predefined layout. Um, uh, the, the, yeah, what more can I say? They're already set up. You can just take watch off you go. You're done. We're not. We're going to go into a little bit more detail. So you've got three different text styles: normal, accented, and non-accented. Accented. I think that's it. Um, so we're going to change the colour of this one. I'm going to get my orange before. So it shows you the bottom, the old colour, the new colour. You can just put hex, a hex code in there. You can go to the RGB slider. But um, yeah, that'll do for the moment. We can tick to use the system colour. Blur radius, blur style, don't worry about those. Right, oh, you get to change the font slightly. Um, sans serif, you can have it bold, italic, etc. etc. You can change the actual font size, so let's go up to 32. But we need to move this up a little bit if that's going to be 32. This can be 26. How's that? Twenty-eight. So I've set my, my three different fonts. Um, speak on tap. I'm gonna try that yet, actually. Or you can have it start up something else. So you know you can have it start up your alarm clock or something like that if you want. Global settings. You can donate there. Vibrate weather. You can change what the weather service is. The update interval. I don't even want that fast to be honest. And if that's for the weather, three hours is fine. Um, you can set a particular location, force weather update, blah, blah, blah. Now, where do I actually get to set me up up? I've forgotten myself already. Oh yeah, I know where it is, right. Um, right, predefined layout, sorry, mental block there for a second. I don't want a predefined layout, I want a custom. Actually, that's, that's good that I could show you, so, weather. You tap the bottom bar, you get the, the sample, battery bar, oh I see, yeah, so it changes, kind of ticks down almost, it's kind of cool. Um, but we're going to make our own real quick, so I hit custom and then I tap on custom layout. So we're starting off with the time, which is fine, that's what I do want at the top, and then I've got uh, a plus button here. I think that's what I want. Oh no, it's not, sorry. I've got two underneath it. There, so that's added me an extra row. That takes me an extra row away. The plus button is I want to th I'm throwing something else on there. Um, and then I can, no, let me start here. Look, so I've got date, battery, clock, weather, miscellaneous. So I go to miscellaneous. You can put like the locale. And anytime you tap on it, it gives you a rough idea. So I can add just static text. 
I go to weather, locality, so that would say like for me Barnet or whatever. Um, got a clock, battery, and date. So I just want to put in um, so day text. Check myself. Day of the current date as text. The first digit is nine. So I hold down it and I drop it in there. So it says twentieth. That's fine. I want to add another bit that says just the, maybe the month text. I drop that in. So now it says 239, 20th of January. So let's say I'm, I'm happy with that. Press my back arrow, press OK. There it is. And that's pretty flexible. Oh, 240 long. You can change the font, you can change the colors, you can change, you know, they could all be different colors, all sorts. Um, and as you saw, you can have ones that go up and down the side. There's just so many, so many different things to do. Um, for those of you that like sort of the minimalistic look, this is a great little, a great little application. It's totally free um, on the market. And you're looking for minimalistic text. Let me just see if I can get you the QR code. Now I can also come in. I think it's going to yeah. So it shows me the two different. Uh, the two different widgets there. I think I can go in like that to edit them. Right, let me see if we can get the uh, market link for you. If you scan this with QuickMark, it'll take you straight there. My name's Andy, and my joy is